<laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> the first episode of Hotel Loha. I'm Jamie, your host for this new Assembly Clan YouTube series. And I'm Natasha, who will be hosting together with Jamie and we are so excited. So you guys must be wondering what exactly is this Hotel Loha show about? Yep, so through this series, we'll be bringing you to many different hotels in Singapore for staycations. We will also be showing you some of the best spots in Singapore, like our local food, activities that you can do, attractions, photo-worthy spots as well for your Instagram. Yep, and through this series, we'll be given many challenges and tasks by the production team um, through our adventure in this city. So, yep, come wait for that. <laughs> for the first episode, we are now at a five-star hotel. It overlooks a beautiful view at the Singapore River. I believe most Singaporeans will know where this place is. Can you take a guess? Did you know that this was once Singapore's General Post Office as well as the prestigious Singapore Club and Exchange Reference Library? Wow, okay. Now we are at Fullerton Building, which is built in 1928. It's been re-transformed into a 400-room heritage hotel with 16 mm. different room types. So each room type has like a different view to the city and it's really, really spacious. Mm. So Jamie, shall we go now? <laughs> Let's go! Wow! Still have fruits eh! Wow! So big! It's crazy! Yeah, it's freaking amazing. Look at that! National Day Parade set up. Hey, in built one eh? Let me share it's cold. Oh, oh my god, it's cold. No, some, I tell you some hotel, the, the main fix is not cold one. Oh. Because like, if you want a cold drink, right, you must have it ASAP. You cannot wait like... <coughs> cold, non-alcoholic drink. Yes. Eh, oh my god, come, come, come. Wait, wait, wait. The toilet just... It just opened itself. eco-friendly measures yeah and they like they don't actually replace your towels unless you ask them to let me show you something different about this bathtub let's say you're taking a bath right and then it's very slippery and there's a lot of water and then sometimes when you go to other hotels it's like very hard to get out because this part is slippery as well you might slip or potentially fall this hotel has Handles here for your convenience, so you can actually come up easily and safely. So now there are a lot of switches here right beside the the bed. I'm going to try them and see what they do. Oh, okay, this is for the curtains. So it actually uh, opens and closes the curtain. So when you wake up in the morning, you don't have to get out of bed and pull the curtains, I guess. So right now, we are having high tea from the courtyard delivered to our room. You can have this like um, at the restaurant or over here. So you can see that it has an extensive like selection. Also right, for some hotel guests, you can actually use your dining credits to purchase this. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Challenge for the day. Find the best picture worthy spots in the Fullerton Hotel and you have 30 minutes to do so. Let's go! <laughs> How you hide behind all? <laughs> you just push her in front. Maybe we should go in the middle. Well, photo tip, push the should we go in the middle? Photo wave in front. Okay, I'll have you take one here. I think here is nice like that. Okay, you go ahead. doing <laughs> for our last photo we'll go back to our room which has arguably the best view already yeah, <laughs> so yeah let's go okay. okay now we're gonna take a photo here at the balcony which arguably i think is like the best spot to take uh. 
Okay, now we're done with our polo challenge. Oh, suck the life out of me. <laughs> but okay, we're now going for dinner at La Passat, which is like probably maybe 5 to 10 minutes walk from here. And also over here, we're at the Singapore River. You can see like, it's going to have a very beautiful sunset here in a bit. So if you stay long enough, uh, yeah, you can have a look after. You, they usually have like boat tours over here. to have like pretty scenic views of like all the shop houses and the life in Singapore down like at like Clark Key. But I guess now it's not that crowded, but hopefully soon enough we can be partying there. Maybe after dinner, y'all can head there for like drinks and mm. there's a really nice view to accompany your drinks as well. Yeah. From here, right, you can also see a lot of shop houses here, really colourful view. Um, what you can find there would be bars and live um, bands and you know, just a chill place to enjoy yourself after like a long day here. Yeah, correct. So it's really like a walkable distance. You can just walk along the Singapore River, which is like quite a, quite a nice activity to do with like a partner as well. Lah. Right now, we are at Lao Pasa, also known as the Ayer Market. This building has about 200 years of history and it's about 10 minutes walk away from Fullerton Hotel. So actually in 1824, this was a fish market for people of early colonial Singapore and then it was rebuilt in 1838. And now it's a 24-hour hawker centre serving the best local delicacies. So what's this? New challenge. We will have to find our favourite dish and recommend to the audience one best dish and why we like them. That's okay. really easy. Actually, that's really difficult because yeah. I like a lot of Singaporean food. Same. Okay, let's go. Okay. Now we're back in our hotel room with our tap out food. Yes. Okay, I tap out pao uh, fan. So what is pao fan? Pao fan is like fried rice, not really fried, but zha rice, rice, right? Oh, in crispy rice. yeah, crispy rice, and then you just throw it in like really nice soup. Mm. I ordered like crab, crab meat. I ordered crab Ooh. meat. It smells of like real crab meat. So mm. I got like a signature, the signature noodle from the fishball stall. So they have like minced meat and fishball fish cake, seaweed, egg, basically like everything that's like usually like those yeah. handmade. And then uh, it comes with like a dry noodle as well, so I got like spicy version. And with like braised mushroom. Okay, taste test. Pass. <laughs> More than wait, pass wait, la, wait. So now we're just gonna have our dinner and wash up. Uh, we'll wait rest well and tomorrow we will have another challenge waiting for us. So yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye. Good morning! So I am currently still doing my makeup, but look at the beautiful sun. It's a great day today. Let me show you the view outside. Wow, this is so pretty. I wish I could wake up to this every morning. I'm going to go to the gym now. I'm really excited because usually I need to work out first. Then I'll be able to eat a lot of food for breakfast. Okay, so we're now at the Fulton Hotel Gym for our very next challenge. Yep, that's right. Do you know that, right? Over here, you can get a membership, a Singapore Wellness membership. Uh, you don't have to stay a night to get uh, access right here. That's very okay. good if like, you want a space to like relax after mm -hmm. work or like somewhere to... Yeah, exactly. Uh, a yeah, one-stop place to like, have your chill. massage, have a facial, <laughs> go to the gym, yeah. and eat some good food. So yeah, this is the place. Okay. So, are we going to have a challenge today? Ooh, ta -da. Uh, that's a big challenge. So, we must each create a 15 minutes workout now using the gym equipment and... Resistance bands. Where is it behind it? Okay. So, also, were you also wondering what? where our outfits are from? They're really cute. They're actually from Fit Monkey. Fit Monkey. So, you guys can get them. So, like, something I really like about this gym right, is that they have these like smart screens. So when you touch the screen right, you can actually like see sample exercises that you can do with the machine. So like you don't know how to use it or don't know how to operate it right, they actually have like tutorials for you and then you can just like select your workout and they also like plan for you your workout and then I think they also have to track like how many reps you do in case you can you like lose count, which I always do in the gym. So yeah. <laughs> 
it like zero degrees. I'm out the cage, gotta let out the beast. Revolutionary, gotta let out the streets. Locked in a cage, I'ma let out the hood, out the hood, out the hood. Wake up, get out the sheets. We came from our mess, forget that piece. Just completed our workout. Yes. <laughs> a little bit of pending, but yeah, yeah it's fine. So 30 minutes workout. Um, I guess during our time here in the gym. I really really like this place a lot for various reasons. Number one, there's like a lot of um, machines here, Never which you don't really like see in like yeah. most hotel gyms or even like normal gyms. Mm. Uh, cable. Okay, I guess they can use a cable, but uh, with all the machines around, I don't Actually think don't it's, need, yeah, yeah, it's like no need for cable machines. Yeah. And they have like a good range of um, weights. Just now we have touched on that. Mm -hmm. uh, space wise, it's really great. And we could do like walking lunges yeah. through and then and back. Fat meals are plenty. That wraps up our um, experience Gym in the gym. Yes. For me, it's definitely like my off one. Yeah, like, I also think so. Especially with impressed. the like touch screen function. I think oh it's yeah. Cool. Okay, yeah. yeah that one is like a six out of five. I'm very impressed with that. You're copyright. Right. <laughs> Good. Now we are going to eat. Which oh is yeah. My favorite holiday. Yeah, we are going back to our room to experience a hotel um, room service breakfast. Yep. Already caught a glance of it. It looks perfect. Let's go. So now we are here. We have our breakfast. breakfast and she's already eating. We <laughs> <laughs> actually have like five different sets for you to choose from, and I got the American set, which is like. Um, scrambled eggs, bacon, your yeah, typical like breakfast food, and Jamie got the. I think it's a nasi lemak. I think it's like wrong. local inspired. Yeah. yeah. I think they have also other choices like laksa, um, another um, organic egg yeah, set. Like yeah, something like that. Eggs. It was quite a difficult choice, so I just went <laughs> with like something more local ish. Lah. So this breakfast that we are having here, you see, you can actually um, have it down downstairs at mm. the courtyard instead of in your room. But um, we chose to have it in our room lah because I think the view is great. Yeah. So why not enjoy it for a little longer? I like that the pastry right actually is very flaky because sometimes when I go to like hotel breakfast, it's like it tends to be a bit soggy, which I don't mm. like. So yeah, this is really mm. good. And they also have like a very big spread of, I mean, very a lot of variety to choose from. Like you can see, they actually have. Like three different gems and for the yogurts also they have like different flavors so we have finally come to the end of our stay here at the fullerton hotel and we had a really great time i think the pillows for me the pillows were a bit soft but mm. you can actually like select your own pillows oh, the pillow like calling menu. room service i think so that one you can customize to your preference lah. and i like that the toilet is actually segmented so personally i felt like design was very luxurious mm. i like the ceilings and everything the same night where i just like before i off the lights and everything i lie down and i just look up <laughs> and i just feel like okay this is like what a vacation should feel like mm. and it's like an experience that in so far um i haven't really quite experienced it elsewhere lah because of you know it being a heritage hotel and it has so many elements that yeah. I've never really noticed before. Also how like the double uh, door that she was talking about works is that it serves like as a noise insulation mm. from outside. So even like I believe you are really quite a stone throw from like the busy road outside. Even as of now there are cars going around mm. but you don't hear a thing at all because of this like insulation between us and the road. Lah. Yeah, also like the door is actually like double layered so it actually prevents condensation. So like when you wake up right <gasps> and yeah yeah oh, really wow. does. So actually when you wake up then like you don't see like a misty a uh, glass window pane. Mm -hmm. You can actually still see the view outside very clearly, which is very good for me. The location is really quite fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's like it's also pretty walkable to Chinatown, which I feel that is a, a flavor of its own yeah. compared to like this like central district area. Mm. Even and if like you're planning to take MRT, right? The mm. train is actually very very near, like train station. So mm. which is and it's also like really near town area so if mm. you want to like do some shopping you can head to town or yeah. Marina Bay for oh, like a uh, shopping yeah. <laughs> okay I really like the high tea yeah I felt like uh, the little like little what, what, what do you call that little the bit. pastries and mm. also like the savory bits they are really very well thought out yeah. I felt like there was um, a really an effort in like curating the entire experience uh, what we had was Tea time in Paris. Yes. Yeah. And I felt like uh, the savory, the sweet, it all really complemented each other very well. So mm. that experience was really good. So uh, service definitely top notch. Yeah. Yeah, I, it was I have very, to very say. good. Uh, people here are very well mannered, very uh, professional. Yeah. Um, they asked before they like mm. push that even just now in the morning he brought his the breakfast he said is it a good time to come in? Even though it was a book slot, uh, I feel I feel like that in itself is very uh 
it's just very thoughtful. Yeah, correct. Yeah. It's a very thoughtful measure. Mm. This hotel is officially Hotel Loha approved. Okay, so if you like our uh, high impact gear that uh, is really functional in the gym and also like you know for daily wear, wear. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You can take fifteen percent off your purchase at Fit Monkey. You just have to find a promo code somewhere in front of the yes, video. It's exclusive to our viewers. <laughs> so you must watch the whole video to find it. Yeah. It's okay. So we've come to the end of our first episode. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hope you guys liked it. Uh, if there's anything you, you have to suggest, uh, you know, like how we can improve this show, uh, just feel free to comment down below. If you like our video, also Please like, like, and subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> also, yeah, comment down below if you have any like interesting challenges that you would like us to try in our future videos as well. Mm. Also, thank you FitMonkey for sponsoring this video. We will see you yeah. in our next video. Bye! -bye. Bye.